Hey guys, what's happening? So, um, all right, so today I'm going home from work and um, decided I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go a different route today and we're gonna go down Franklin and check out Charlie Chaplin's house. So, stay tuned. We get to Charlie Chaplin's house, otherwise you're gonna miss freaking Charlie Chaplin's house. So, yeah, so that's what we're doing. And uh, so right now we are heading up Hyperion gonna make a right on sunset and um, I then you'll recognize where we were before if you see my other videos we're gonna go past the Vista theater which is um, being refurbished right now and um, so you know you get to see like what the progress is so um, see you in a minute now look at this making a right on sunset now so yeah you know what it's like I don't really know what we're gonna see sometimes when we go on these little journeys but um not really gonna sugarcoat anything or try to make anything you know that it's not um so you'll always kind of get you'll always kind of get the truth you know so because otherwise why say something so yeah see so if you can see the vista theater right there uh, beyond the bus on the right hand side of the bus is the vista theater and uh, so that is being renovated. And I, I keep seeing them like pull stuff out of there and whatnot. So I can't wait to find out what exactly they're gonna do. But uh, Quentin Tarantino bought it and is refurbishing it and uh, is gonna keep Los Angeles history alive. So I'm all about it. Hey, by the way guys, please click like on this video and subscribe to the channel um, because, and, and comment. Just put a comment. Hey, bro, what's up? You know, nice ride, cool. Hey, Vista Theater, all right. You know, whatever. It helps in the algorithms so that YouTube will think that, hey, this is a pretty important video because people are talking about it. So, yeah, any of them. Watch all the videos, go comment on stuff, you know. Then you will be helping the machine take over. Oh, yeah. It's the Vista Theater. More stuff is happening all the time. All right, so we are on now, we are on Hollywood and Hillhurst. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make, we're gonna make a right on Vermont up to Franklin. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I could have gone that other street, but uh, I didn't. So Vermont it is. Wacko Soap Plant is a really cool store that used to have, that store used to be on Melrose. Like uh, back in the day, Melrose was full of like, kind of like wacky creative artists and designers and all that kind of stuff. And, and that, that store was one of them. And uh, you could get like all kinds of like really cool, you know, artistic trinkets from different artists and soaps and you know I mean they had clothing like you know one-off designer stuff there um, so that was a it was it's a cool place and so now it is no longer on Melrose and it is on Hollywood Boulevard down here so right over here you got your right aid and whatnot this is Vermont and Hollywood we're gonna make a right right here pedestrians have the right away so we're just gonna not run over this pedestrian because we're good people. We're good people. So. So yeah, let's see. I believe it's, yeah, oh, I'm sorry, not the Grand Derby, the Dresden. The Dresden. The Dresden restaurant which was right there super cool place uh, it's if you ever come in here to Hollywood it, it is a must a must go to and um, so here got lots of little shops little restaurants bookstore art stop there's your nice little uh, your Los Feliz theater since 1934 so yeah that's pretty cool 
been going here since 1934. Another cool little restaurant here. That's like a. That's one of those um, kind of hipster, hipster places. You got your house of pies right here at Franklin and Vermont. We're gonna be making a left here on Franklin. You have your uh, Masonic Temple, Masonic Lodge, 418, right there. It is also a film location, base camp parking film location here. I don't know if you can see that sign on top of the building there. But uh, yeah, Masonic Lodge, right there in Hollywood. Boom. Cherry pick, got your little vintage stores here. So this area on Franklin is basically a lot of houses. It's a cute little, cute little places here. And also very expensive places here. With my favorite purple trees. Edgemont so if you were to make a right here on Edgemont it would take you up to Los Feliz and um, Los Feliz it's like it, the the more that way you go the kind of pricier it gets because it goes there's um, right across the street of Los Feliz there are like multi-million dollar houses the Los Feliz Heights and I probably just made that word up I don't know that there is a Los Feliz Heights, but it feels like there should be if there's not, because there's a bunch of expensive houses right up there. But more purple trees, my favorite purple trees. So if you, if anybody wants to get me something for my birthday, just get me a purple tree, and, um, and then that, that'll be awesome. Actually, like one of my favorite areas up here on Franklin. Now, during the height of the uh, the pandemic, the these campers that you see here on the street, this was just lined with them. I mean, this this area right here had. I mean, there was probably twenty. I mean, you can see that. Like, yeah, one across the street there. So, what was that? That was three. So, which is nothing. There was like a bazillion, a bazillion of those um, RV campers and stuff. Now, this house right here, it's a pink house. It's been been renovated here for a little a little while now, and that's it's a, it's a really cool place. Good to see they're doing something with it instead of just letting it kind of decay. Oh, another RV. Should count it. But uh, this over here on the left, that used to be a gas station. Um, and now, just like a lot of other things, it is becoming apartments. So. This is this kind of like um, this square three, four story apartment condos this is uh, very popular here. And it's like, I don't know, developers decided that, hey, let's build like all these really freaking boring square condos with absolutely no style and um, Let's make that a thing. So that is now a thing. Always like, you know, I don't know if you could like the Miami, you know, square condos that you are familiar with, like when you think about Miami. So they're like that kind of style, except not in cream and, you know, seafoam colors and stuff like that. So anyway, so yeah, but like these buildings, you know, 
this is when they would actually put some effort into architecture um, you know back in the day when like architects gave a crap about what they were doing instead of just making money am I saying too much I don't know am I we're coming up here see I love these buildings like look like New York you know the fire fire escapes on the outside on yeah you know, people pull out into the end of the street like that like you know like what are you thinking dude you know anyway don't be like that guy so this is Gelson's and Gelson's is a grocery store it is super expensive don't go to Gelson's if you want to save money um La Poubelle it's a great little restaurant this is where the upright citizens brigade the original one is right there next to the cantina the birds and bourgeois pig which is a great little bourgeois coffee shop they have they have like uh, velvet couches and a pool table it's kind of dimly lit um, and it's just a, a cool place to to go hang out and um, you know shoot a game of pool and grab a grab a cappuccino in a real glass and um yeah cool stuff so but yeah that's a that's a really hip little little area so if you ever get it if you ever here in la um yeah just go to one of those restaurants birds check out the coffee shop and you know it's got a sushi place right there so we're coming up here on franklin and gower Arco, 605 a gallon for regular. It's the, the Hollywood Tower. That is a, a pretty famous apartment building. Lots of lots of stars have lived there and probably do live there now. But uh, that's cool. We're gonna let this person out because I'm a nice guy. So we're at um, this is the 101 freeway up above us, ahead of us. Okay, so we are going to be crossing under the 101 here. And you see this fencing. This fencing was not always here because they had a bunch of um, tents under this, under this bridge. So, you know. They had to do something about it and they put some fencing up. All right, so this is uh, Coanga. Yeah, you can see that little area right there on the median. Lots of, uh, lots of tents. It looks like they're kind of clearing it out a little bit. So here we come up over this hill. This is Grace, and that right there, that right there, is Charlie Chaplin's house. And I'm gonna park, and we're gonna go check it out. All right, so I just parked at uh, Franklin and Whitley, um, which is got some cool, cool apartment building right there. Um, I used to actually my former boss. My former boss from like a million years ago um, lived in that place. So, cool places. But uh, I'm just gonna take you to Charlie Chaplin's old house. It's gonna be up here on your left. Wait for it. Check this out. So they are totally redoing this place. And it's um it's amazing. Just be able to walk around and know the history of what of what of who lived here and, and where and so yeah, so this is 
Franklin and what's that street? Grace. So Franklin and Grace. Charlie Chaplin's house. Well, now I'm sure the people that live here are not named Charlie Chaplin, so. You can't really say that this is Charlie Chaplin's house because Charlie Chaplin doesn't live here. Pretty beautiful, pretty beautiful. Hey guys, by the way, thank you so much for coming along for the ride and for the walks and whatnot. So yeah, I figure since I do live here in Hollywood, as long as I do live here in Hollywood, I may as well kind of give you like a, you know, lay of the land tour, that kind of thing. So you can see things for as they are, um, you know, and it's like, I'm just gonna like walk and talk and, and you're gonna see things as I do, so. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of channels that you can go and, you know, people will dive into history and, and who, who did what and like, you know, I could talk about all of Charlie Chaplin's movies and, you know, what he did and how many and what time, what year and how long he was here and, uh, you know, how he died and, and I could do all that, but there's lots of people that do that. So we're here just kind of for the, the current, this is what's happening right now experience of of Hollywood and wherever we go so so we kind of like we kind of do this together you know what I'm saying all right let's get back in the truck all right so we are heading back on to Franklin right now and, um, yeah more just super cute places this is on our left hand side this is the, the Montecito which is another um, apartment complex, big, uh, you know, lots of people of the movie making variety have lived at the Montecito as well. It's a very, very cool place. Probably because it's a pretty big building. So it's like, you know, chances are it's an old place in Hollywood and lots of people in the industry would live there because it's Hollywood. like uh, you, the, you know, one of the main thoroughfares into into Hollywood coming down off of the 101 freeway you jump off of Highland and it'll take you right into Hollywood which is kind of like uh, not what we're doing because I'm gonna continue down Franklin um, to La Brea just because I want to show you something else This is a super famous church here in Hollywood. A lot of movies got made there. Up here on the right is the Magic Castle Hotel. That's also pretty cool. Yeah, we should go up there sometime. I think in this hotel, it's Highland Gardens. I think that is where Janis Joplin passed away in that hotel right there. So yeah, we're just gonna jet down La Brea and um, that's gonna be the end of this particular Franklin journey. And uh, hey, I hope you guys like this kind of thing. So yeah, just click like, subscribe, join the Patreon, Kyle Hester Actor Guy, so, so we can keep doing this kind of thing. And, and watch all the other videos because uh, you know, I got lots of cool stuff there. So check them out and we'll see you on the next one.